ever was that I wish I had a Rolls Royce parked in my garage or a mansion by the seaside or even more sex or going bungee jumping. The biggest regret of people who are dying is simply this. I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life that others expected of me. This was the most common regret of all as recorded in the book Five Regrets of the Dying when people realize that their life is almost over and they look back on it, it's easy to see how many dreams have gone unfulfilled. Most people had not honored even half of their dreams and they had to die knowing that it was due to the choices that they had made or the choices that they had not made. And that my friends is the focus of this episode, how to move from dreaming to action and fast. So. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for your love and support. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Sheila and you are watching Lumia 24. Light on. If there is one thing that I have been accused of time and again since childhood, it was for not following this adage of look before you leap. I have always leapt first in work, in relationships in businesses and consequences be damned. No overthinking, no overanalysis, not too much of what ifs. Of course, there were times when my decisions went horribly wrong and I had to retreat to lick my wounds. But more times than not, it was a win. I had read a quote long back which said that our greatest fear should not be of failure but of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. My one life I was not going to waste on things that don't matter. And as a life coach, it has been my passion to help my clients discover the same thrill, the thrill of action. But I also see a lot of people standing in the wings, scared to step up, who are great with ideas but poor in execution. Those who overthink and overplan and overanalyze and don't take a single step to move away from the life that they hate. So what stops them? There's fear of failure, there's fear of success and one of the things that I see most often, the need to be perfect with all the ducks lined up. Perfect opportunity, perfect time, perfect people, perfect script. Now here's the thing, success happens in action, not in preparation. Every experience, every experience that you have gives you data. It gives you information, knowledge, feedback and you can use this to get the results you want. And the only way to get to that priceless data is to take imperfect action. When you have an idea, a goal or a dream, you need to take action on it as soon as possible, even if it's not perfect, even if you don't have all the answers, even if it's scary. Of course, it will push you way past your comfort zone, but the rewards are more than worth it. Only action can give you the clarity on what's working, what's not working and what you need to change. Taking a single imperfect action kickstarts the momentum, making it easier to take the next action and the next. And with every action you take, you are rewarded with more confidence, more momentum and better results, creating a beautiful cycle where one good thing builds on the last until one day you stop look around and realize you've done it you've arrived at awesome now i'm not saying that action will get you only success you will stumble and fall much like a child learning to walk but if you focus on the process and let go of your attachment to the result your starting point would have moved you would be further up on the road that you want to be on than when you started because this I know for sure, unless you take consistent action, despite the fear, despite the inconvenience, all you will be left with is a far off dream. I know too many people who have now been stuck in the same spot for years. Someday you will regret that you didn't start earlier. And because I love action and I want to help you on your way, here's a simple little tool from my toolbox. This is an adaptation of an idea from Jim Collins book from Good to Great where he uses the metaphor of a bus and you are the bus driver. Now, most people assume that great bus drivers or business leaders 
they immediately start the journey by announcing to the people where they are going, by setting a new direction or creating a fresh corporate vision. In fact, leaders of companies that go from good to great start not with the where, but with who. First put people on the bus, then decide the direction. For you, however, I have an even radical idea. Jump on that plane. Before you create the bus, you have to take fearless action. So, jump on that plane. These four words are my personal mantra to get me to stop overthinking, over preparing and start taking action. Jump on that plane. Say those words to yourself when you know you're hesitating, when you know you're procrastinating. Say it to yourself every time you realize that you're holding yourself back. Say it when you know that you are not doing what you need to do to get to where you want to go. Simple, isn't it? Try it. Inaction is the reason why there are manuscripts on laptops and not on the bestseller list. That's the reason why great businesses, inventions or ideas that can change the planet, they are hidden in dark corners. Don't let that happen to you. You will never know whether you will succeed until you try. But I can tell you this. You're guaranteed failure if you don't. Agree? Disagree? What's stopping you from reaching your moonshot goal? Let me know in the comment section. And if you need help to fly, connect with me. Together, we will create a strategy to put you on that plane. Show some love. Like and share this video. And subscribe. Let's increase our tribe. Our tribe of people committed to personal and world transformation. Let's spread the light, folks.